right, everyone. Hope you guys are doing great. This is Joap Silva, once again here in the channel. Um, I have my really nice cup of coffee here for today's tutorial. I've been very, very busy lately, uh, but it's always nice to come back and uh, create something new for you guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Some of you guys have been uh, really, really, really great. Some of you guys have been visiting. Uh, if you're new in the channel, man, I, <clears throat> I've been creating a lot of things. Um, very busy in the studio, creating a lot of projects and uh, playing with new softwares and playing with new tech. And, um, and it has been great. Uh, and I'm, you know, I just want to keep recording and uh, for, f you know, for future students, also and even included in myself. I mean, it's pretty, pretty can be uh, hard sometimes to remember absolutely everything that I've been creating. But as I keep doing, as research goes on, um, I'm always, always learning something new. So this, the, the, uh, the new media workshop it will work definitely as, as, uh, as I keep developing those tools for myself as I, again, um, use different softwares. But I've pretty much been using almost everything that, that I've been creating and, and recording for you guys. So again, uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, today is a big day. So today I'm going to start with Unity, uh, work with Unity. I'm coming back to Unity once again. And uh, this is the first tutorial in a channel which I'm going to be covering, uh, working with AR, Augmented Reality. I just got a really nice tablet for this. And um, I got a Samsung <coughs> uh, S6 light to work with this project and uh, I highly recommend you guys to have an Android to work um, and uh, please take advantage. This is going to be a one-time tutorial, it's going to be a long tutorial, but um, grab your cup of coffee, take your time um, and uh, dive it in. It's going to be for the scratch. So I'm going to be working with an image track, tracking uh, per, what what means pretty much I'm gonna have a an image that when I point the tablet to the, the very specific image the camera from the tablet um, a three dimensional uh, object will uh, appear as a result of the camera to track that that uh, image in a real world um, so. I find this type of AR really, really fun, and I think um, a um, a um, tutorial is uh, is pretty much needed in the channel that covers that. Cool. So let's just dive in. Okay. All right. Um, I have a lot of videos in Unity. My early videos in Unity is gonna cover a lot. So please take a chance to explore those videos. I'm not gonna go over installation and all that kind of stuff, but those videos are supposed to be useful for you, all right? All right, so very important. So let me just uh, um, go over a little bit here. Um, I'm going to, I can work with, all, all, these are the versions of the editor that I have um, for this project. And um, my my favorite versions has been the 2022 versions. I worked recently with the 2020, 2023 versions of Unity and it has been pretty decent, pretty nice. Uh, but I'm gonna just stick with the 2022 version of uh, the editor. And uh, just for if I have any problem, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna reset to this and restart again. But most likely I will not. I've been working recently and things have been working pretty fine with Unity. But I'm gonna be working with this uh, or this 2022.2.1 or 2022.0. This one has been the one that I've been exploring the most. And this one as well. Uh, I have a Mac. Uh, I'm working with a Mac Studio. Um, so it has been working really nicely. And uh, obviously a silicon chip. And um, so it's very important. If you're new to Unity uh, and you're going to install an editor, make sure to install Android uh and everything that goes with that okay um again you can see that in a, in a new project but let me just show exactly what you need to install okay it's not just like clicking on android and installing it's very important that you especially if you're new again that 
um, you really install what it needs to be installed. So I'm gonna click. In, I'm not gonna install the the, um, the. I will not install the. The editor will tell you what are some of the packages and, and, and things that you have to install. Okay, so when you click on the editor, a uh, lot of you know pre-releases uh, editors that you can install and whatever whatever uh, uh, version you want to install. When you click install, this is what's gonna open. Okay, so it's very very important. Wow, I only have. Uh, you see the size of it, 25, 21 gigabytes, a huge software, okay? So I only have 7.1, which is nothing. I might have to delete some, some stuff from my machine in order to run this application. But things that you need to install here, I'm gonna be working with Android platform. So I'm not gonna work with iOS, okay? Android only. So you need to install, really pay attention, okay? You do not need to uncheck whatever you need to uncheck here. So, but what you need is, you need to check Android build support, open JDK, this is important. Android SDK and NDK tools, you need to download that. So check all of this. Uh, I usually, okay, I usually download this Mac build support because I'm working with Mac. Um, so, I mean, I don't have a server, obviously, so I don't need to check this and nothing. So you have here Windows build support, Windows dedicated server. So if you work with Windows, ideally you want to check this, okay? I, I don't download documentation or nor language, other languages. So make sure they really look this. I also don't need uh, Visual Studio, uh, you know, to uh, code in C Sharp. But uh, make sure that you have these guys here if you want to create uh, any application for Android using Unity. Very important. All right, so let's get back. Uh, and after you download it, the editor, you're going to see uh, whatever support you're going to have. So I like, this is the big one that I, that I often use. And all right, so here, you know, I already have these three editors here in my computer. Um, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go and let's just start creating, okay? I'm gonna just click any new project. Um, and I'm gonna type here uh, my, I'm gonna just use lowercase, okay? My AR app. Ideally, you really wanna work with lowercase names. Unity is very picky. Applications for, applications is very complicated when you use, uh, I mean, I had errors before by putting space here. Don't use any special character, okay? So everything lowercase, highly recommend you do that. You always can try uh, to add uppercases and all that kind of stuff. And uh, when you get errors, you know where the problem is. But I highly recommend you um, to write in lowercase. The location where the application is gonna, you're gonna create the application, okay? All right, so here, I have, um, here you have a few options. I mean, there's a lot of things here that you can you can do, okay? Uh, but we're gonna be working with, you You have two options here, at least for this tutorial. I have I have the two options, right? In AR core, uh, when I select here, this AR core, uh, it says, uh, quick start your augmented reality AR applications with a sample scene assets and the recommended package. So all the packages and the scripts, all of that, if I choose this, if I choose this template, I'm gonna have all the packages that are ready for me, okay? Which is really, really nice, okay? Uh, I just need to delete a few things and just go and run my app. Uh, but I want to start from the 3D core here because then you can, you will know exactly um, what type of uh, packages you need to download, where you download those packages and how you set up things, okay? So I'm gonna go with the AR core and start this application from scratch. Cool, like actually let me see the name of the project, um, Neo Media Workshop AR. Cool, that would be fun. I put a capital letter here just in case, okay? I'm gonna put some capital letters just to New Media. And if I get an error, uh, we will fix this, New Media Workshop. AR app, there you go, AR app, full, fun. All right, cool, clicking create project, it's gonna take a little time for Unity to um, 
for the project we start. All right, wonderful. Here I have my scene already created uh, in 3D. So I have the three-dimensional, uh, I have the three-dimensional three plane here. I'm holding the option button on my keyboard and just move my mouse around. Um, I have my little tools here and uh, um, yeah, so things are really, really, really fine here. Great. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to Windows, Package Manager, um, go to Unity Registry, okay? And then you're gonna type AR here, okay? All right, so really pay attention, okay? Uh, this Google AR core here, I just downloaded. Uh, and uh, I downloaded this Google AR core. That was the first one. You're just gonna click to install and it will install uh, Google AR core and AR foundation. I downloaded this Google AR core and it downloaded automatically this package here called AR foundation. Uh, it downloaded everything. So this is the two packages that you need, okay? And you can install just by I'm selecting the package, this one here, because it's already installed, it doesn't say here, but uh, you just select it and install and, and click to install. And uh, your computer will reset, okay? After you install this Google AR Core. So there's are the two packages that you need, okay? AR Foundation install both. Again, if 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 reset your computer, it would, uh, knock on the computer, it's gonna reset the um, restart Unity, okay? So it, you know that install because you have the check marks here, okay? Um, also, uh, you can see when this package got released in July 26, 2023. Um, and this is kind of relatively new that is supporting uh, Unity, uh, supporting uh, Android applications, okay? The Air Foundations pretty much has everything that you needed. Uh, it's very, very, very important, okay? It's like the heartbeat of the application. If you want to create AR applications for uh, Apple devices, you um, it's pretty much straightforward. You can download uh, these packages here, Apple AR Kit XR plugin. Okay, it's right here. Uh, that's what you need. Cool. All right, so the packages are installed already in a computer, and you see that the packages are installed because there is AR Foundation here, Google AR Core XR plugin right here. Um, on my projects, okay, uh, in packages, okay, it's right, right, right here, AR Core plugin, it's in the AR foundation, cool, so close that window, okay, you don't need this package manager anymore, just close it there, all right, uh, first thing that you're going to do, I want you to just, um, you can't change a little bit of your view, it's going to help you a little bit to work, um, Actually, actually for this, you, will not, you actually will not need actually um, for a different type of VR application you need. But well, on a scene view scene, that's where you, you work and you, where you add 3D objects. Okay, in a game view, that's where you see uh, what your game actually would look like. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on main camera and just delete this camera. Okay, I'm holding command and Mac and clicking delete or you just can click with the right button and delete, okay? You don't need a camera, and there's a reason why you don't need a camera, because you're gonna add a new camera, okay? All right, so let's just go ahead and start creating things. I'm gonna just click with the right button here on my hierarchy. I'm gonna go to uh, 3D objects. I'm gonna just create cube, okay, for this. Just a cube, there's a few things inside of this cube. There's a collider there, there's some place for material. I'm gonna click with the two button, uh, click twice on top of the cube just to see uh, the object right there, cool. Um, as you already know, if you've been working with Unity or not, if you're new to Unity, the measurements used in, in Unity is meters, okay? You use meters. So this one here is one meters, which means is, um, 100 centimeters. Uh, a person who measurements, uh, who height, it's about 5'11 or 6 foot high. 
it's around two meters okay so if you don't have a ruler if you don't know how meters work uh, I would highly recommend you to grab one uh, a measuring tape for you to understand a little bit of size so the size of this this the dimensions of this this cube here I am about six foot high this dimension here it goes almost uh, up to my uh, to my almost up to my belly which goes to my hips okay so it's really really big it's a huge cube on this three-dimensional environment so this is gonna be the object that we want to see in a VR application okay so what I need to do here is I want to resize this for about um, 0 0.05 centimeters okay so just five centimeters if I want a 10 centimeters I would just put one okay so I want any small object okay so it's almost like an object that fits very nicely on top of my hand okay that I would be able to actually almost close my hand so five centimeters okay all right so I have the object here I'm gonna animate this object and let's just play just a little bit with animation just to see uh, it playing nicely on a on I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna click on animation just to see this object uh, just playing with this object just to just for fun okay so create animation uh, and then I'm gonna just uh, type uh, cube animate animated cube all right, animated cube, just gonna save that. All right, I have my cube there. So uh, right there, really nicely. I'm gonna just go ahead and click here on enable and disable keyframes recording mode. So I have my keyframe right here on my, uh, on this little red button here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just rotate my cube. And you can see when I rotate the cube, it automatically adds on my keyframe. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just click one here, okay and zero and I will go ahead and move this to let's see one minute and I'm gonna put 360 here so it, uh, another keyframe got added uh, I'm gonna put 360 on this too 360 on this I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna put zero on this. Let's see, I kind of doubt that's gonna go. Let me see. One there. Uh, you don't actually don't need to do this. Zero. There you go, cool. So if I play, so I stop here. If I play right now, um, it's completing here, it's a second. I don't need to play this. I want to. I meant to play my my cube. If I go ahead and play my animation, you can see my cube is a little bit crazy and going on really, really, really crazy. Okay, uh, my timeline is really, really, really small. But what I want to do is ah, let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, let's grab this keyframe and just drag it a lot further. Uh, let's see, a lot, a little bit further. Okay, so it can be a little bit smooth, smoother. Why they're pretty decent now, right? So it's a cube rotating, just a little animation, nothing uh, over complicated. Cool. So let me just close this animation here. Close this tab so I have more room here to work. Cool. All right, I have my cube. I want to make sure that I'm saving my project because uh, Unity sometimes crash. We just make sure they're clicking Control or Command S to save. All right, so I have the cube. Cool. I'm gonna go to uh, my assets, and um, I'm gonna drag my cube right here. Okay, I just have my cube there save nicely. Okay, as a prefab. Cool. All right, let's add a few more things here. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and click with the right button. I'm gonna go to XR. And I'm gonna add two packages, two objects from here, from this list, two things from this list here. Make sure they're out there correctly, okay? So first, AR session, okay? 
So when you click on an AR session, you can, this is a very, very important. Okay, there's a script here, it's attempt update. I mean, match frame rate, this is a very, very important. Uh, this is uh, tracking mode here, position with it. So this is very important, okay? Uh, this is for the AR application. And you're gonna click for the right button again, and you're just gonna go to XR origin. Okay, just make sure that you click on this one here, XR origin. All right, XR origin. When you click on XR origin here, uh, that's another thing. So there's a camera here now. Um, so you can see there's a camera. It's called offset here, but there's a camera going on here. Okay. Uh, you see there's a main camera there and it's really dark here. It shows everything about the camera. You can see there's an AR camera, main manager, AR camera, background, script. And there's a lot here. So don't change anything in this camera. Just be aware of that. Okay. All right, XR origin. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, there you go, my cube is really fine, everything's okay. All right, excellent. Uh, next, what I'm gonna do is selecting XR origin. You're gonna add a few things here. You're gonna go ahead, add a, uh, click on add components. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add here AR tracked uh, tracked image manager. Okay. So that's the one that you're going to add. So you're going to go ahead here and add, uh, AR tracked image manager. Okay. All right. It's already has any script added to it. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, here on project, click with the right button and go to create and scroll down, all the way down, and you're gonna go to XR, and here, what are you gonna do, okay? You're gonna add this reference image library, okay? All right, you don't need to change the name of reference image library. Um, and select reference image library here, go right here and add an image, all right? So this is very important now, okay? All right, so, here on the reference image library is where you're gonna add an image that you have. It can be a picture, a photograph of your mom, your dad, your pets, or any type of photograph. You're gonna add the image here in a reference image library. When you have the tablet on with the camera on, you point the tablet to the image, that's when things gonna appear three-dimensionally, okay? So the tablet will be looking for the image. So it's very important that your image has a good resolution. Uh, and I will discuss a little bit about the image here in a second, okay? So really pay attention, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna be showing here, I have a book and let me show to you the book that I have, okay? So I have this book here. It's a very nice book. I read this book ooh, a long time ago in my undergrad. It's called Brain Brainwave. Uh, and uh, written by Paul Anderson. Um, highly recommend though, it's a science fiction book. Um, so this book is really small. I'm gonna just put my pencil here for, for my pen here for you to see the size. It's very, very, just the mouse here for you to see the dimension of the image, okay? So really, really small book. And uh, I, what I want to do is I want to point my tablet to this image here with the with the AR app showing. When I point this app to this book, I want that cube to appear and obviously is animated to appear right three dimensionally in, in the real world. So that's what I that's what I want. So I needed to know a little bit of the dimensions of this book, right? I need to know a little bit of the dimension of it. Okay. You don't need don't need to be perfect, but you need to know a little bit. So, and then you're gonna need this image because the book's gonna, the, the application is gonna be looking for this exactly image, okay? So I really hope you work really fine here. Uh, there's some little things going on around here, but what you want is you want an image that has some texture. You know, it get tricky a little bit. Sometimes you, you work just with a, a blank page like this. You know, it gets very, very tricky. So it's a very old book. This is the first edition of Falling Apart. So it sometimes doesn't work with a blank page. So I highly recommend you, I mean, you play with your images, but um, 
highly recommend something that has texture. Okay, cool. All right, so that's the image. So I went to I went to Google and I downloaded the that uh, the image uh, from Google, and I have the image saved, so I can go ahead and play with the image. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna just drag it my image from my downloads. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag the image into Unity. So here is the image, okay, of the book. So as you can see a little bit here on the side, that same, I just downloaded from the web uh, and that's the image, the front cover of the book here, okay. All right, um, so I'm gonna go to my reference image library here and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag it, that image into here. You see non-texture 2D. I'm gonna go ahead and add it there, okay. So you can see that's the image here. I can rename this. I'm gonna put brain wave. It's pretty fine. Brain wave. Brain wave. And then I needed to add here specify size. This is very important. So, um, so the the application is asking me to try to to get very close to the size of the image that you will be looking at. So I need to remember the size, sort of similar to the size of the book, and I need to out there. At least right now, that is what I told you in the beginning to have a ruler, okay, which is important. But I mean, you don't need to be perfect, but just an, a closer estimate. So for me right now, as I look at the book here right now, I think it has at least a height, 20 centimeter. So I'm gonna just put 20 centimeter here. Uh, so it's gave a lot more, so I just need to put 20 here, okay? So 20, 12, to, uh, 12 centimeters as width. And uh, let's, and I need to, you see here, keep textures at runtime. I needed to check this, okay? So this is very important. All right, so this is an estimate, okay? And we always can play with this if, this, if it doesn't work, okay? Uh, sometimes it's like you are, you are running an application that it will, it's like, oh yeah, I need to adjust the, the image, I need to adjust the, the animation where the things go. So just be aware of that and be patient, okay? Don't be frustrated. All right, cool. So I have that, everything is fine. Uh, the application is gonna be looking for, for this image from the front cover of the book. And then this, this will, will come out, okay? All right, it is very important that you, again, Make sure that you scale. So remember, right? The the cube is at 0.5 centimeters. The the cover, it's 12 by 20. So that makes sense, right? So this needs to be smaller than the cover. So sometimes you people forget to uh, to change the size of the object, and what happened is like a meter. So you want to see something in front of the book, and you're like, where where's the image? Where's the image? When you step back with the tablet in your hand. You're gonna see this huge 3D object through the tablet, taking the, the entire size of the room that you are at, which becomes really interesting too. But uh, but play with that and really really pay attention to that. Okay, to these dimensions. All right, cool. All right, so my image reference image is there now. Uh, now I just need to add. Uh, I need to connect those two things. You know, this cube and. Uh, to the image and how you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this uh, XR origin here uh, and you can see serialized library you already have the library already right the reference library <coughs> excuse me and you're gonna go ahead and drag it into it you can see reference image library and now what you need to do is Tracked image prefab, you need to track the cube uh, into the uh, into the into the tracked image prefab. Okay, so I have my cube there. Uh, just a second. Uh, yeah, the cube is there nicely. All right. Then after you have your cube, everything is positioned. Everything is nice. I'm gonna go ahead here from my hierarchy. I'm gonna delete that cube. Cool. Double check again if your cube is here. Always double check. Make sure track the image prefab, the cube is there. Uh, max number of moving images. 
uh, just add one there and you're good okay so that's one image moving okay all right excellent so things seem to be pretty fine here all right cool make sure you save your project all right you save your scene so there's nothing here on a scene okay what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go to file now build settings and now I'm gonna be working a little bit on a player settings okay before I upload my build my application so let's go to player player settings first all right player settings uh, let me make sure that you're you're seeing this all right cool player settings and go to player first uh, rename your application to see here new media workshop app I can copy this and paste here on a company name here it's very important very important that you um, add don't add special characters here make sure that no spaces very important okay uh, any space here you're gonna get especially on those here you're gonna get in your um, okay very important all right so everything's fine here there's any default icon here I want to add an icon for this application I'm gonna just go ahead here uh, let me just drag one from my computer I want to add an icon to um, in a icon to the application let me find one here okay close the new media workshop right there player settings now add this image right there in texture good I have the image here for the application um, and uh, well, let's go step by step right other settings okay if this is down like this go ahead and other settings uh, make sure they are on an Android settings not on you know iOS or web uh, WebGL just uh, WebGL make sure they're on Android okay all right icon I just added it's done resolution everything's fine here you just don't need to do anything but go to other settings all right this is very important okay all right when you uncheck this auto graphics api this vulcan is going to show here the graphic api is vulcan you need to come here select and delete this vulcan here okay very important um, you can uh, if you check here again uh, the Vulkan is gonna is not gonna show you can you can leave it is auto graphic API it's pretty fine uh, or just unchecked I mean really be careful this you might gonna get an error when you read an error in console just be aware of that okay all right let's go back there file build settings sorry right, cool uh, I usually leave unchecked here for now um, and uh, scroll down slowly scroll down scroll down you can see here um, con dot new media workshop app new media workshop app kind of let me just change this name a little bit I'm gonna put uh, yeah you cannot leave it this open let's see I'm gonna put um, new media workshop I just want to change and then workshop there goes that was too big work shop work there you go workshop that that's pretty fine now it's gonna scroll down a little bit I'm gonna just override this by checking and check again right there new media workshop cool uh, this minimal API level here I've been using the level of 25 but no less than 24 okay minimum API level right here 25 very important and right 7.1 let's scroll down let's see if there's anything else here all right nothing else here okay watch out for this again don't pay attention to this okay all right we're gonna go to XR plugin management you don't need to do anything else here at least for now okay uh, and just make sure that um, you check Google AR core this is very important okay Google AR core make sure that you are on the Android tablet uh, 
uh, tab here, very important. Google AR Core, project validation. So you have here project validation, make sure you click fix all. All right, uh, this did not get fixed, which is really, really okay. XR, uh, XR simulation. All right, so things seem to be pretty okay right now. Let me just go back to this player here. Uh, let me see what I'm gonna get. Oh, there's a Vulcan here. Uh, let's delete this again. Cool. Right there. So you can see that got fixed already with the Vulcan. Right, so it's very important. Uh, if for some reason, when you click on XR plugin management and you don't see anything here, it's like, oh, it's blank. I click here, XR plugin, especially if you work with Mac, I recommend you just to make sure that you saved your project, close your editor, reopen again, and this is gonna pop in, okay? You're gonna be able to see, so you can check this Google AR core. You can go here. Uh, you'll be able just to click to fixed. Um, and then make sure again, to uh, to delete Vulkan from this, okay, for the graphics API. Cool. All right, so things are fine here. You just can close it, everything, everything's okay. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna work with your, um, this is a very important one. You're gonna work with your tablet, okay? So before you build anything here, you needed to find a device. As you can see, run a device. I don't have nothing here right now. I don't have nothing, okay? Um, so first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your um, to your tablet. Um, just make sure that you have that running nicely. It needs to be plugged in in your computer. It needs to be connected to USB. Make sure that you have that connected to USB, okay? It's very important, okay? All right, go to settings. I'm gonna just click in settings and I'm gonna type, I'm gonna search here for developed develop right there so i need to find the developer options okay so i'm going to go ahead and click developer options and this is like crucial that you do that because you want to make sure that you enable your device to be ready to receive an application which is created by a developer which is you so you need to, the device need to know, you need, you, 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 you need to, to have a direct connection with Unity, okay, your device. So you scroll down and here where you're gonna go, you see there's a lot of things here debugging, you see? So this needs to be enabled, this is the most important, USB debugging. So debug module when USB is connected, so check that on. So uh, when, you, when you click on that, look at the message that I just got here right now, how cool is this, look. Allow USB debugging. USB debugging is intended for development purposes only. Use it to copy data between your computer and your device, which obviously that's application we're creating in Unity, right? Um, let me just check again. Um, and install apps on your device without notifications and read log data. So obviously you want that, right? So you click OK. And here you're gonna get another message that says the computer ASK fingerprint is and some information from my computer. And here is always allow from this computer. I'm gonna check on and I'm gonna click allow. While they allow access to, to the tablet data, the connected device will be able to access data on this tablet. That's a message and I'm gonna click allow. That's it. Now, this, uh, now we're gonna go back to Unity right now. This looks really, really good. Everything's fine here. I'm just gonna close my uh, my thing. And uh, let's go back to you real quick because I will show to you guys uh, what it actually look like. Video capture, you guys. Yeah, there you go, cool. Uh, going back to Unity. Uh, now, as you can see here, I don't have a def default device, right? But when I refresh here, my device is nicely it's gonna appear here because I already um, enabled my device to connect to Unity. Uh, I'm gonna check this development build here. Uh, make sure that you check this so this is gonna be available for your patch or patch and run. And uh, I'm gonna go to my player settings, double check one more thing there. Uh, yeah, I renamed this New Media Workshop 
in media workshop here uh, to be decent, not with the space again. I just make sure, and this is gonna be important. Make sure that the Vulcan is not there. So uncheck this after you deleted the Vulcan. Remember, the Vulcan cannot be there. Okay, if the Vulcan is there, make sure they're deleting just by selecting and just clicking the minus button. So uncheck this. Uh, things are fine here. And uh, go again one more time. Make sure that Google AR Core. Uh, what else here? Everything is nice here. If you see a button like fix all, if there's something with a problem, just click fix all. Make sure that everything is nice and fixed. I run before with one uh, without being fixed, but uh, make sure that fix everything. Okay, cool. Uh, things supposed to be nice and perfect. Everything looks great. I'm going to go ahead here now. And I'm going to run this application. And uh, let me just run. And let's see what's up. Let me just put back there. Build settings. There you go. And I'm going to patch and run my Samsung here. Patch and run. All right, cool. So it's building my application. All right, cool. So this is my tablet here. Let me just open. All right, so you need to just, just show there. I got a message here that says, uh, allow new media workshop to take pictures and record videos. Yes, of course, I want my application to be able to use my camera, right? So while using this app, yep, great. So I just put it there. My camera is already on the application because I clicked in Unity, run, uh, patch and run, and... Uh, so I can go ahead and the camera is already on here. If I lift up my tablet, I just show a little bit. If I lift up my tablet, you can see, let's see my hand through my tablets, right? There. That's my hand through my tablet. Okay, the tablet's here. You can, let me see if you can see uh, right there. So the tablet's there, you can see the bottom of the, the thing. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna show to you uh, let's see. So this is the tablet. Uh, let me just change the camera, the, the orientation of the camera so you can see better a little bit. So this is the tablet. This is my computer. The tablet's here, right? The tablet's right there. Okay. That's a tablet because I'm using a, uh, the tablet's right there. I'm using a, uh, oops, let me just rotate my camera. Right there. Good. So the tablet's here, pointing to my computer, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, as you can see, nothing shows there, okay? Nothing shows. Let me just um, close it, and I wanna show to you where the app is. So you can see the app's right here. In Media Workshop, very nice. I click on the app, the app opens, very nice. So nothing showing now. And uh, very quick, here I have the book too, okay? Brainwave. Now look at this. So when I point my tablet to the, uh, let me see if you can see right there. I lift it up a little bit. Now I have my book there very nicely and my AR application through my tablet. Look at this. Uh, let me change my camera a little bit more so you actually can see this better. Hold on. Uh, right there, I have the tablet there. And I have my book at here, okay? Brainwave, and I'm gonna point it in right there very nicely. I have my book um, working very nice with the animation. And I can turn the book, the animation is nicely attached to the image, okay? So this is the fun thing of, of, of working. I mean, that's the best thing, right? So it keeps turning off because I haven't set this tablet yet. So that's kind of pretty much, that's how you uh, create an AR application in Unity. Um, I mean, there's so much that you can do. You can download the 3D model objects from, from the Unity, uh, you know, from the Unity asset stores. You can go online and download a lot of things for there. You can create animations, you can import uh, ideally, you want to work with FBX file. 
uh, for animated objects. I mean, you also can animate things in Unity too. But um, I mean, just have fun with this. There's so much you can do. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I will see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel. All right. Bye bye, everyone.